To download the software, just open your browser and type Keel Micro Version. The first link shown in your browser was nothing but an official website for Keel ID. Just click on that. Once you enter into the page, just scroll down. Here you can see a C51. Just click that once. You will be redirected to the downloaded page. Click the download file. It will automatically start downloading. Once the download was completed, just open the downloads folder and install the downloaded software. Once the software was successfully installed, it will create a desktop shortcut. Just double click on that, you will be entered into Keel ID. To create a new project, just click on the project and new micro version project. It will ask for the project name. Before going to type the project name, to easily access it, I'll create a new folder in the desktop. I just simply named it as a tachometer. And I'll store the project inside the folder. And I name the project as taco. Once you saved the project name, it will ask for the microcontroller what we are used for this project. Just search for 8089C51. Click on that once and press OK. It will ask for startup. Just simply press No. To create a new editor file, go to File and click on New Option. An empty text editor will be opened. We already created the code in the text format. So I am going to copy that and paste it here. And pasting it in Kill ID editor. Once you paste it, just save by clicking the file and press save. Here it will ask it for file name. You can give any file name but it should be in .c extension unless it will generate an error. Once the file is saved in the target right click in source group just add the file by clicking the add existing file. Once you add it you can see the file is added to source group 1. Then right click the target and click on for options for target. Here one dialog box will be opened. Change the frequency of the crystal. Then go to output tab. Enable create X file. The default name for X file here is taco. I am just simply rename it as speed. Once we compile, here we can see there is no error or warning after compiling it. So we can directly build the program. So once we opened the tachometer folder, here you can see an object folder. Once we open that, here speed.hx is nothing but the x file created by the keel ide i'm just simply copy it 
and paste it on desktop. 